As we take a look at Billy's forehand volley, we'd like to see his movement of his body being, a, um, being improved going forward. Now we see here, stepping into the ball, which is good, but we'd like to see him close up his stance a little bit more. We see a, a perfect line here through the center line. We'd like to see him on this one close his body a little bit more, taking the left foot. We see a left foot here, and we'd like to see him apply it here. Now, how come that's going to close up his hips? It's going to allow him to, um, to not rotate his hips so he cannot swing at the shot, which is very important. Now, from here, of course, we also see the racket head being down. This is something that we have to get up. Now, we're going to see on the next shot, there's a split to the move. And again, on a ball like this, we like to see him close up his stance a little bit more. Here is a little bit more close than he was before. He was here before. Now we have him here. Again, we like to see him all the way here. Okay, actually, let me draw that with a green line. Let's go over this one. Just like that. Now from there, of course, let's, let's take a look at his upper body. Upper body is going to be hitting this shot, and he's going to be hitting from here. So it's almost behind him. A couple of things to look at. Look at his head positioning right here. Okay, one thing that we want to see is uh, his eyes, of course, spotting the ball, which is very difficult to do when the ball's behind you. So we have to make sure that this racket head, instead of being here, we like the racket head to be closer in front, okay, and out here. Tough to see in a two-planer um, two view. If we were uh, three-dimensional, of course, it would be a lot easier. Going forward, we hit the shot. Racket head, as you see, again, comes down. Let's take a look. Oh, apologize. Let's take a look at the racket here. That comes down. Of course, it has to stay up. Take a look at one more. Good split. Here we go. Jams him up. He is going to have to use an open stance on this shot. Okay. Shot is hit, but we see the right ahead, and it goes, it goes where? It goes back down. So we have to make sure that he does a good job hitting, but then recoiling back to make sure that right cat stays up. Okay. So don't mind the ball, but if we were to go forward, we'd like to see him go forward, just like he is, but then bringing it back, just like that. Again, forget that the ball is even there. So forward. And then start dropping the racket, bring it back up. Okay, and that's going to help him, of course, uh, maximize surface area, so on and so forth, as we talked about in the volleys before. One thing to also consider, okay, and it's tough to see here, is going to be his grip. He's slightly off. He's not a full Eastern. He's, of course, not a full Conti. He's in between, so, of course, we have to get him to a, to a full Continental on the, on the volley.